It was 50 years ago, in 1968, the year of uh, Sismex Foundation, uh, that I joined uh, a research group in Edinburgh, uh, a very uh, important moment in, in my career, uh, and that's where I did most of my productive work. So uh, Edinburgh at that time uh, was one of the most exciting places in the world to be doing molecular biology. This, this was the achievement of a group of senior professors who, uh, having seen the uh, work that Watson and Crick did in Cambridge in uh, un unravelling the structure of, of DNA, they decided that there was a tremendous potential in, in this for, for genetics and biology in general. And uh, they decided to invest uh, in a very large research centre on, on DNA. The essence of the success of the Edinburgh venture was the, the boldness of these uh, professors in uh, recruiting many young uh, and talented scientists from many different disciplines, including genetics and, and chemists and, and so on. And I was one of the chemists who joined the, the, uh, uh, that, uh, that endeavour in, in, in Edinburgh. So we were spread all over the campus of the university. Um, there was people in plant sciences, people in genetics, uh, and in the newly formed department of epigenetics. And uh, I was in the department of zoology. Well, can you imagine that uh, uh, you, they were putting molecular biologists into a department which, in which the uh, corridors were lined with glass cases with stuffed animals in them? An extraordinary state of affairs, but we, we worked there very well. So there was a buzz about the campus and uh, I had many friends and collaborators uh, from other departments who helped me with, with my research and we were <coughs> very interested in each other's work because it was such an exciting uh, environment to be working in. I was mentored by Ken and Noreen Murray, a, a, a man and wife team of really excellent scientists. And they introduced me to the sequencing methods of Fred Sanger and to the restriction enzymes. And these two tools are what I used in my studies of what, what are called satellite DNAs uh, to, uh, from the mouse and from the guinea pig, uh, which confirmed the existence of so-called junk DNA, that were quite an important discovery. I developed the blotting method. So this is a prime example of tinkering, uh, which played with bits of paper and jelly and salt solution, uh, but nevertheless, simple as it is, it has proved to be a very useful method. I've uh, seen the blotting method used in many important applications. Uh, for example, it was used uh, to make the first map of the human genome, and uh, it's been used to discover the genes of uh, several uh, human diseases, including cancer. And these, thinking about these applications still gives me a lot of satisfaction. So my years in Edinburgh were very happy ones. Uh, for me, there's no greater thrill than uh, that moment when the light bulb, bulb is switched on. Uh, in our minds, we see the answer to a, a problem that uh, has been bothering us perhaps for a long time. And these pleasures are lasting. They stay with us for the rest of our lives.